I'm an actor and storyteller, and I'm here to tell all of you lovely people about my daily routines. I am originally from Chicago, Illinois, born and raised. I'm super proud about it. I actually have the Chicago star from the flag tattooed on my finger. Um, and I moved to Los Angeles about six years ago. I was going to film school outside of LA, and then I ended up leaving to chase my dreams right here in the city of Los Angeles, and I lived here officially for three years. When I first moved here, I didn't have a job, and I was just kind of chasing my dream and seeing if I could get different auditions. It was very nerve wracking. So the only thing that I really had was creating a routine for myself. I signed up at the gym, which lucky for me was like two blocks away. And I began to go every day. I used to be a smoker and I quit smoking. Um, and I really started to instill healthy habits like drinking a lot of water and getting good sleep and all of this like really incredible stuff just kind of filtered in one after the next. Um, and keeping that routine has been a central backbone of my life and of my success. So the last year, obviously in the pandemic has been really difficult because I was stripped of all of the previous routines that I had that kind of kept my life in place. But I also learned to create new ones. And now that I'm able to bring it, kind of meld my previous routines with the ones that I formed this last year, I now feel like I have the greatest setup for myself to be successful, but certainly not having those routines available to me had a huge impact on my life and on my happiness too. The three things that I would recommend to somebody who really wants to change their life and instill positive routines, the first one, I would say make it a point every single day to go out and meet at least three people that you haven't known before. Just compliment a stranger on their shoes or say hello. That always brightens my mood and it's something I make sure to do every day. The second thing is I drink a gallon of water every day. I know for everybody that's not the most reachable thing, but staying hydrated is a staple of my life and it has given me so much energy. So that's the second thing. My third thing would be sign up for a gym or get yourself, like get your blood pumping every single day. Find a way, whether it's a walk with a friend or going to the gym or lifting something heavy. Those are things that make my life so much better and um, I never try to leave them out of what I'm doing during the day. It's my belief about life that the first thing you put into your body at the start of the day and the last thing that you put into your body at the end of the day is sort of what determines how you sleep and how you wake up and face the day. So I'd love to tell you about my nighttime routine. So a staple product in my nighttime routine is Mary Roos Liquid Nighttime Multi-Mineral. I believe that it's pure magic, essentially. Um, and I take this every night. Basically, you have a two tablespoon cap that's just an ounce. I don't even take it with any food or water, and I take it like 30 minutes before I go to bed. Basically, it just helps you sleep so deeply. People that are really stressed, they have low magnesium, and this like loads you up with magnesium, so you feel freaking awesome when you wake up. Every night, I do a face mask, and I do a whole skincare routine. Then I take my Mary Roos products, Sometimes I pop on a record and just relax to a few songs. Then I crawl into bed uh, and I put on a true crime documentary and fall asleep. As a non-binary and queer person and also as an actor, one of the things that I know about the world is that we don't often see ourselves reflected in the media. So it's kind of hard to connect with our community. And one of the things that I make sure to do every day, especially over social media and Instagram, is find ways to connect with other non-binary, trans, and queer people, and also parents of queer kids, and find ways to support them and talk through what they're going through, because I know how it feels to struggle, and I wanna give them all the resources and support and community that some of us never get to have, even if it's in an online space. That is part of my routine and it's something that keeps me happy and healthy to give back and connect with people in my community. Sometimes life gets hard. I think being queer at many times is really difficult, especially being a queer actor. And some advice that I would have is just stick it out. You know, you, everybody is so loved, you're so loved. And I always try to think of the concept of like, imagine how many people 
you're gonna make laugh in the future. Imagine how many people are gonna love you that you haven't even met yet, that you can't conceive of. That's something that keeps me staying positive every single day. And it's something I always wanna share with people in my community because it's true. So skincare is something that I've only just recently gotten into. For most of my life and my adolescence, whenever I would get a pimple or something, I would pick it and then it would become a scab. And I basically had like these scabs all over my face that I was picking. And it made me really, really insecure, which only made the problem worse. It wasn't until this year that I went to a facialist, the most amazing woman, and the experience was more like a medical experience rather than a relaxing one. She taught me so much about my skin, and now I have a routine that has completely turned the quality of my skin around, so much so that I don't even really wear makeup anymore, which is a big thing for me. When I wake up, the thing that's most exciting for me about the day is actually that I get to start the day with washing my face. It's pretty much the best feeling ever. So I first use this cleanser. This cleanser is like a miracle, basically. Um, it makes my skin so clean and so fresh. Then I put on an exfoliator, which is just like an incredible scrub. And something cool about this particular exfoliator is it's actually created so that the little things that scrub your face are perfect circles. So they never break your skin or harm your skin. They just really get the dead skin off. Then I get a nice cotton pad and put toner all over my skin and I get like this really tightening feeling. My face feels like new skin, basically. Then I have an awesome serum that I put on that smells amazing and it feels incredible. And then I just put on a moisturizer and maybe a sunscreen if I'm gonna go outside. And I've got a nice dewy glow. And I look in the mirror and pretty much feel awesome. And it's a great way to start the day. If I wake up and I don't have time to do my routine, there is such a notable difference to my day. Waking up and getting my skin ready for the day is kind of mentally how I jog the memory of like, okay, here's another day. We're gonna do it. We're gonna enter it with bright energy. So when I get my skin ready, it makes me feel mentally just prepared to conquer everything that, that the day has to offer. At night, one of my favorite parts of my routine is that I take my morning routine and I add to it a mask. So one night I do a really nourishing, brightening mask, and then the next night I do like an active mask where it kind of like takes out all the toxins. When I have the mask on, it just gives me like 15 minutes of downtime where I can watch a show, clean my room, really be present with myself before bed, and then when I wake up, my skin looks so amazing. Humble brag. I'm a big believer that it's not necessarily like the products that you're buying, it's how it makes you feel. So I've found products that work for me and for my skin, but I think the key to my skin success has absolutely been the masks. If you can't go out and buy all of these products, I would say definitely get a mask, do it every night. For me, that's been the key to my skin success. And it just makes me feel super good at the end of the night to sit in a mask and chill out and get ready for bed. Over the last few years, I've been really coming into my identity as a non-binary person. And I realized that I never really quite felt comfortable in my body. So for me, my journey over the last few years with my routines has just been to try to make myself feel more at home in my body and getting exercise, looking in the mirror and looking physically stronger and getting to feel stronger has been the most amazing and rewarding part of my routine. I grew up playing sports and being an athlete, but I would say as an adult, I really didn't have a positive relationship with my body. I didn't work out. I'm not even sure that I felt very comfortable in a gym space or that I like knew what to do with a pair of dumbbells. So going to a boxing gym was really intimidating. Walking into any kind of gym was like, pretty much a scary experience. And I think for me, that's why it's been so rewarding to look in the mirror and understand how form works for different exercises and look in the mirror and feel strong and powerful. That was really my goal and my dream at the beginning of this fitness journey. And I'm so proud to say that I've accomplished the ability to feel really comfortable in athletic spaces and feel like I can take up my own space.
I'm a person who's really inspired by a lot of things. And I feel really lucky to say that some of the biggest inspirations to me are just my family and friends. I have the most amazing mother who is a cookbook author and has a pottery business and watching her chase her dreams and totally turn her life around has been like the most inspirational thing. And then I'm also surrounded by friends that are the most supporting, loving, hilarious, fun people. And they inspire me every day to be a better person and to be kinder and more caring and loving. The best piece of advice that I have is actually a piece of advice that my mother always said to me growing up, which is you gotta be yourself because everybody else is taken. And I think if you've got a dream, go for it. You know, there are gonna be a lot of people in life that tell you that whatever you're dreaming of isn't possible and you shouldn't be one of those people. So, if you got a dream, shoot for the stars, baby.